And good afternoon, meteorologist Jesse Kelly here. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday. We are beginning to see decrease in skies throughout most of the Arctic. The only exception is off across the northern edge of the Arctic, where we are beginning to see a few wraparound showers on, around the air of pressure across Arkansas and also across the northern edge of McCurtain County. Just seeing some wildly light showers on one up there. We will see all this come to an end over the next hour or so as the low pressure trough moves away from the region. Temperatures are not too bad for this Sunday afternoon. 61 degrees in Minden, 64 degrees in Natchitoches, upper 50s across Audubon, and even into De Queen. So again, as trough low pressure moves off towards the east, we will continue to see decrease in skies, allowing for a very chilly evening due to the fact we have northwest flow to the upper atmosphere as we will see a surge of cooler air drop down towards the south. Now, the next disturbance that we will see, that's currently over Oregon, Idaho, and this will eventually drop towards the south near California, hang out there for the next couple of days. We won't see the system until Friday. So before we see that system, we're going to see a pretty quiet forecast in between. Tonight we'll see temperatures at or a little bit above freezing for this evening. We'll see a little around 35 degrees in Shreveport, 32 degrees in Atlanta, 32 degrees in Audubon, 34 in Center and also into Mansfield. Tomorrow we will see daytime highs ranging from the lower to middle 50s towards the north. We'll see upper 50s down towards the south near 60 degrees in Natchitoches, 58 degrees in Shreveport, 56 degrees in Magnolia, and 58 degrees into Mount Pleasant. So Robbins, Toyota, Future Cash shows clear skies tonight, allowing for temperatures to fall down into the 30s. The good news is we're expecting plenty of sunshine as we go into your Monday. A very lovely afternoon with high pressure around. We'll see daytime highs into the 50s, and we'll see more of the same as going to Monday night. Temperatures falling right back down, middle to upper 30s, not as cold as what we will see for tonight. We will see temperatures rebound back into the 60s as we go into your Tuesday, and will be even warmer throughout the rest of the seven day pattern. So we will see the trough of pressure move off towards the east. Ridge of high pressure will settle over the central United States, which means you're going to see good weather and also some warmer temperatures. As we go into your Wednesday and Thursday, we'll see trough of pressure begin to make its move to the east. Allowing for some rain around as we go into your Friday afternoon, Friday night. That moves off towards the east. It's quite possible we could see another chance of rain as we head into your Sunday. Now, this model yesterday show we will see some rain for Sunday. As of right now, that rain chance, at least for this model here, has went away. Another model today we could see some rain for Sunday, but once to get past Friday, the forecast is right now still rather uncertain. So until we get some more clarity on the forecast after that, as right now I left the forecast dry for now, but we will see cooler temperatures behind the front on Friday. So the next seven days shows lots of sunshine for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures not too bad. 60s, may see some 70s around for your Thursday. We will see a good chance of rain for Friday. As end of the weekend, we will see plenty of clouds around. We'll see highs in the 50s. Again, it's quite possible that we could see some rain around, but as of right now, forecast is rather uncertain on that for the weekend. Nighttime lows into the 30s and 40s.